For me, there are multiple reasons why you would want to buy the new tailor-made mini burner driver. When I say multiple, I mean three. I've always been a big fan of the mini driver from TaylorMade, as has anyone who's ever reviewed it. Which begs the question why more of them don't use it, and why TaylorMade don't make more of them. My guess is stock will be limited in two months from now, these will be selling for twice the market value on eBay. The TaylorMade Mini Driver is the hottest ticket in town, but why? Well reason number three makes buying the new TaylorMade Mini Driver an absolute no-brainer, but we're starting in reverse order because YouTube tells me to create anticipation to prolong the watch time, so don't go anywhere. So let's start with reason number one, it's quite simple, they look incredible. And this latest model is no slouch in the looks department and perhaps a further lean towards the retro style. That allows older golfers the opportunity to put a piece of nostalgia in their golf bag that has the looks from the 80s, but with performance that proves otherwise. Again, I haven't heard any negativity towards the looks of this driver. A very retro feel, old school tailor-made logo, and the colorways really work well, and the copper strip on the crown really does look good at a dress. The head cover is the best looking head cover on the market right now, and the best in terms of usability. So the club looks good, but that's not gonna be enough to make you buy it. But that's a lie, I'd buy it on looks alone. So before reason number two, here are some photos I took in the changing rooms at Hollywell Golf Club. Yeah, I did get a few strange looks, but hope you agree. They were worth the inevitable rumor, which suggests that the average golfer takes his camera in the toilets with him. This driver is adjustable both loft and lie and is available in 11.5 and 13.5 degrees. It has two changeable weights, which I can assure you have a very effective impact on performance when switched around. Reason number two is the performance, well for most average golfers at least. I've tested each model over the last few years and pretty much can say with confidence that this club is 15 yards shorter than my driver, so why would I want to sacrifice 15 yards? Well, for one simple reason, accuracy. I lose 15 yards, but I hit more fairways, and that's mainly due to the length of the shaft, which is pretty much a three wood shaft in length, far easier to control for any golfer even though most will insist on trying to bash a driver as far as they possibly can. But for me, the accuracy is also coupled with confidence. The 300cc head is very controllable and paired with the shorter shaft, make an ideal combination. So hopefully you're still here and not fall asleep by now, and the YouTube algorithm is out of control due to our engaging new format, which provides you with facts and fun in equal measure. It really is a laugh a minute. The reason number three in the moment that has you inching close to the screen on the edge of your seat in uncontrollable anticipation, well, it's quite simply the price. Okay, so I overplayed it. It's not quite the moment Rocky downs Ivan Drago to gain revenge for that savage beating of Apollo Creed, but it is a very valid reason as to why you should seriously consider this driver if you're in the market for a new big stick. This driver has an RRP of 379, which makes it almost 200 pound less than the cost of most new drivers right now. And in many cases, this will be a better option for most golfers. Now this model has only had a lick of paint and has no change in spec from last year's release. So you could well buy the older model and not lose any performance, but then you wouldn't have this piece of art to gaze at, show your friends, and feel like the coolest kid on the tee box. Whatever your decision, Taylor made have created a new club option in the bag, which is now being added by rival manufacturers. There clearly is something in this mini driver concept that has some appeal. And for those who struggle with the term mini driver, let's just call it a two wood and everyone is happy. The reason why number three is a no brainer. Well, that's quite simple, but then I know some of you are, so I'll spell it out for you. If you buy it and it isn't the holy grail on the fairways you're expecting, then stick it on eBay and you've just made yourself 200 pound. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, as some might say. But not me, that's far too jovial. Hope you enjoyed my review of the TaylorMade Mini Burner Driver. If you did, then please like and subscribe. If you didn't, well, just close the door on the way out. That's the La Vista, baby.